<clears throat> I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot. <sighs> Not again. Once you clear it out, I think I have a much better idea. Well, they just had to do it. They just had to piss in my coffee again and make what they call anatomically correct feral ghouls. Did I not tell you? It's against the law! But that is actually the least concern here, because the ambition behind this mod goes beyond everything we have seen so far. All of the possible nasty parts have been mercilessly slapped onto feral bodies. Hangy saggy boobs, wobbling dicks and balls. All with glorious physiques to ensure the ultimate anatomical correctness. In various forms and shapes. Deformed, mutated, mutilated, bloated, half torn off or rotten away. And I'm being dead serious here. I wish I was making this shit up. Believe me, you are damn lucky this footage is censored. Just one word. Anuses. Highly detailed, half rotten, stinking zombie anuses. This mod is taking the aspect of being ass to a whole new level, all by itself. I don't even know what to say. I'm not even sure which was worse. The fact that I had to zoom in and gaze upon all the glorious details while filming and barfing all over the screen simultaneously, or the nasty and time-consuming censoring afterwards. Really, I don't know who this mod is for. On second thought, never mind, I know you will get this, for immersion purposes. But fuck, I had enough of this. Hopefully the custom voice followers will make it a bit better. I mean, custom voice followers are usually a good thing, right? Right? Yeah, what do you want? Well, I, um, question? Yeah, nice conversation. Zoe, who can be found in the Museum of Concord, does not seem very talkative, at least at first. I need your help. <laughs> Aren't you a bold one? But this might be fun. Sure. She is actually based on the- Oh my god, it's the cactus voice pack again. I thought she sounds awfully familiar. Followers using it have been spreading like wildfire lately, and now apparently infected followed too. But whatever, I'm more curious if we get more than two dialogue lines, or if there's more of the silent treatment. Now we can get back to... What were we doing? Wasting our time with shitty mods? Hey. What is it? If you don't mind things going missing every now and then, fine. Hey. What do you want? Wait there. Fine, but do hurry it up. Bye. Don't waste my time. Are things alright between us? Yes, of course. Hey. What do you want? Don't waste my time. Bitch, say don't waste my time one more fucking time and I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I wish I could just shout her off a mountain or something. Yeah, it does get annoying damn fast. There is also no affinity system or anything. And if you are wondering why her body looks like some weird Frankenstein mess, her outfit was designed for the vanilla body for some reason. Fuck, I hope the next follower is a bit more entertaining. He's supposed to be on a bus stop near the Red Rocket. Where the fuck is there a bus stop near the Red Rocket? I have never seen anything like- Oh wait, there he is. Uh, <clears throat> greetings to you, friend. Oh yeah, same modder, same voice pack. Don't get me wrong, it's actually a really nice voice, but it doesn't fit into this game at all. Come with me. I need your help. Adventure and riches await us. See? What fucking adventure and riches? This is not Skyrim. It's a game about post-apocalyptic survival, not beating up dragons with clubs made from their mother's bones and then looting a pile of gold out of their asses. Besides, James, hopefully not Rolf here, barely even got any dialogue. Yeah, nobody is going to download a male follower anyway. Why bother, right? Negative? Positive? Well, I'm sure I know what my rating for this is. It's time for us to part ways. Take care of yourself out there. Yeah, and fuck you too, James. <laughs> well, that sorry ass team aside, there is one thing that is usually fail-proof. 
and that is to get highly tactical with new toys. Wasteland Tactical to be precise, by Jimmy Gitto. This mod is not about new weapons, but actually putting all the awesome existing ones on those two backpacks, with lots and lots of variation possibilities. You can craft the backpacks and equipable weapons and accessories at the camp station and then customize textures and other things at the armor workbench. And then equip the desired parts onto the actual backpack. This is obviously designed to work with visual equip mods and has support for famous weapon mods like Catalyst AAS, Scar LK, Crude Blowback and many more. And of course the vanilla weapons too. It does work with all those weapon mods too, if you download the extra texture file. This made showing this off a bit easier, actually, thank you very much. But we also have some brand new weapons to try out too. Hunting Revolver and Ranger Sequo... Sequoia? Ah fuck it, Ranger Revolver by the Rizzler and Navarro. This is a weapon from New Vegas, by the way, welcome back. Nice, massive 5-round shotgun, feels really powerful thanks to the custom animations and sounds. Seeing this kind of weapon always pleases my ass a lot. You can put some scopes and shit on it too. But what is this sequoia thing? It's just a retext featuring engravings. Now that does not please my ass a lot, but I think it looks nice. And then there is another comeback weapon, YK-42B Pulse Rifle, another weapon by this Znikey guy. Always nice to see new weapons by this dude, simply because they look 100% legit. This is a weapon from Fallout 2, by the way. It works just like the Crank Rifle from 4. That's cool. We don't really see many mods which use those firing mechanics. Also, something really worth pointing out, I'm glad I checked the equipable section of this mod, because I found this. Now I'm Mecha Godzilla. But we are also going to do some close and personal business with the Ardens Blades by Ardens, Magic, Splash Flare and Fall Off. Glorious Nippon Steel, superior warfare even after the apocalypse. And there are holes in it. I thought it's meant to be to put some attachments there, but there are none for this weapon. Just a damage modifier. Maybe some stuff will be added later, who knows. But it doesn't matter, because now Barney the Dinosaur on steroids will go on a rampage. Hey, you wanna get fucked? Like fuck! Oh wow, this weapon is overpowered. I'd love to say it's Barney the Psychosaur, but it really is the weapon. Ok, there is one more thing, just another gas mask or not. Jagman? What? By Seiyahika. What is going on? It is a mask. Nobody cares who I was until I put it on. And afterwards also not really. But anyway, lots of customization, cool mask, decent mod. See, that was really nice and refreshing, it's not all bad. Oh, there's going to be some shitty hard to review mods next, am I right? God damn it! Whoa, what is this? Commonwealth Vehicles by M. How could I have been so wrong? I could never be mad at M. And here he strikes again, with another round of fully working vehicles. There's even a flying one. Well, not really, it's more like hovering above the ground at the same height, but it still looks really cool. All the vehicles featuring real spinning wheels. Companions and creatures like dog meat will automatically ride along, if there is space for them on the vehicle. The only thing you can't do is shoot those weapons. But they will sometimes automatically fire when you are not on the vehicle and enemies appear. Because I guess those vehicles are actually robots in disguise. Yeah, I said sometimes. Of course they didn't want to do it once I started recording. Yeah, the so-called demonstration effect in its very essence. Fuck you, vehicles. You got nothing on Night Rider.
Okay, what else we got? How about this? SKK Settlement Attack System by SKK50. There is a holotape to configure this new settlement attacks. The vanilla attacks can work alongside this, or you can completely disable them by setting the base game attacks option to disabled. It's also possible to set the time intervals, attack strength, difficulty and type of attackers. The bad thing about all this is, however, that it will automatically select a settlement which has a defense value and is near to the player. Meaning no BS like attacks on Far Harbor while you are in Yuka World, for example. The attack event will also actually wait for the player to arrive, so it's even more convenient. But okay, all this is theory, but we want to see some real action, right? So let's wait. And wait. And wait some more. Okay, what's going on? We got everything here we need. Defense is up, lots of people, crisis armor. Oh, wait a minute. It says real time. So you are telling me I have to wait at least one real hour? Yeah, that might be good for actual gameplay, but not for fucking reviewing. Well, I guess we have no choice here. Let's see, it's also said there is a feature to call for air support to help you defend. There should be an air support signal grenade to craft in the camp's workstation. It's only good it doesn't say where exactly it's supposed to be, and I searched the whole fucking camp station with all my mods, but couldn't find it. Oh, wait a minute. It says air support is in version 005, but the current version is 004. Ah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> silly me. That's why it wasn't in the ASP Explorer. Makes sense. Why the fuck do you put stuff in the description if it's not even available yet? And I'm certainly not waiting for an hour. Do I have to remind you? How about next mod? Mission Committee, a mission generator by Sorry We Are Full. W -w wait, what is this? Are you telling me this is a mod to generate even more boring generic radiant quests than already are in the vanilla game? Wow, sign me up right the fuck now. But seriously now, let's give it a try. It is possible to choose a faction you want to fight for, and during the missions they might give you some backup. You can also choose to fight alone as a freelancer if you wish. There are also a lot of different mission types you can get. Check this out. Target elimination, rescue missions, artillery destruction, lots of stuff. But okay, let's see how it actually works. Request a mission, it will scan for a while. Depending on the situation it may take a bit longer. And then it will tell you mission retrieval failed. So yeah, it works like butt sex. I'm just kidding. That's actually a common error. Some missions are only available in certain locations. Besides, it might be a good idea to go to the mission selection menu and toggle on all the mission types. This is what I did, and this is what I got. Available missions. Destroy artillery gun. It spawns a bunch of enemies nearby. And of course the gun itself. Well, kinda kinda underground. I guess it was a covered operation. Sorry. But yeah, nothing a little TCL couldn't handle. The next mission I got was escape or defeat the attackers. Basically, a bunch of baddies tried to ambush me. Like assassins. Yeah, that would have made more sense if I hadn't requested it. Using this mod and letting the missions trigger naturally seems like the best way to do it. But yeah, it's just as I said, basically it's just some random events appearing here and there to add something to do between the actual story quests. So it can certainly have its uses. And this is it for this episode. The links on mods are as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the mods you like. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Or I will send my sentient vehicle army on your ass too. Thank you all for watching and see you around.